rend les choses faciles. Et c'est chez moi, c'est l'arme de croque. Hello, my bosom friends. Welcome back to my channel. Pray you're all doing wonderful and are keeping in extremely good health and in perfect, perfect happiness. So according to the numbers, you all seem to thoroughly enjoy the bags videos, whether it's H&M bag or whether it's a Love Every handbag, you all consume the content with keen relish. And I, like you, obviously love all things handbags as well. At my leisure, I do consume this sort of content. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to this channel, I do welcome you with so much love. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Let's get to 500. And yeah, that'll make me ex extremely happy and hopefully get monetized because a girl needs extra income, an extra source of income isn't it especially in the times we live in it's important to have a multiple sources of income so today i'm going to talk about going back to my first love which happens to be the alma bb by louis vuitton i love this bag it was gifted to me about four years ago it was gifted to me four years ago yes four birthdays ago and I still love it. I still thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. And it is one of those bags that will always be sentimental to me. As a Taurus, if you are a Taurus, I'm sure you can relate. There's this misconception that the Taurus is extremely uh, materialistic. And there could be some truth to it. There's a caveat to it, though, because the older I get, the more I realize that the Taurus is not so much about being materialistic it is about actually wanting things that endure whether it's relationships handbags things that we surround ourselves in things that add on to our comfort it has to be the best and I, I suppose that's where that confusion comes from and also I would like to apologize to the fellow Tauruses out there because I used to think the same that we are materialistic but actually we just want things that endure and the things that endure do require the best raw materials, don't they? So whether it's relationships, whether you're building a family, whether you're building relationships or building a handbag collection, I honestly think that less is more. That's number one. And also number two, being the Taurus, I just want the best quality and obviously the stuff that i can pass on to my daughter one day inshallah and this little bag happens to be that bag it is the best quality money can buy and it is one of the most affordable louis vuitton handbags if i'm not mistaken obviously next to the slgs so according to your multiple sources, in 1925, this little gorgeous bag, the Alma BB, was first designed for Coco Mademoiselle herself. And it was an exclusive order. It was designed with her. It was fretted with her in mind. And the more I look at the bag, the more I see how ladylike it is. And obviously true to Chanel's DNA, they really are at the forefront of uh, timeless elegance of anything all things classy all things timeless all things that endure back to the Taurus isn't it and a multiple sources did confirm that it was first designed for her and like I said every detail was fretted with her in mind and then it was only in 1924 so in 1934 that's when it was mass produced for the public and that's when the world got to see this beauty and it's been an un an it, it has been um, candy for a lot of famous people and I would say the reason why is because obviously of how it is constructed, the structure, it has a detachable strap so meaning you can wear it on your you can wear it on your shoulder, you can wear it as a crossbody and it has two steady Toron handles that are obviously leather and I love Toron handles because they are curvy but also they're not just going to be flopping around they really are a steady kind of handle and 
I love all things ladylike so obviously you cannot go wrong with a top handle bag I think it is just extremely ladylike and then it also has two zippers that meet in the middle or wherever you want them to meet and it has four legs at the bottom so should you want to put it on the floor it's not going to get dirty although in my culture we do not put bags on the handbags on the floor because no money will ever come in your handbag and speaking of more traditions according to the feng shui uh, experts you cannot have anything red in your wallet but here the texture the textured uh, lining is red in color. I haven't had any issues with it because apparently red is such a fiery color and it'll burn away your money if you will. And I noticed the same thing with my red um, Gucci wallet. And as much as I love it because it's such a small size, it fits in a multiple of bags. So it doesn't work for me. But this interior, this textured interior, it has never given me those kind of issues. And it's been four years, like I said, since I got the bag. The interiors are not damaged. There are no stains in the bag whatsoever. And also because I'm super careful, I love all my pouches. So I just make sure that things are in pouches before they hit the bag, if that makes sense, because it makes life easy in terms of being organized and finding your things and also keeping the integrity of the bag. I guess that it's got this padlock, extremely golden and shiny. Four years later, it is still nice and shiny. And it has... Um, it comes with a two sets of keys and all the bags will have a serial number on the padlock. And so the inside joke is that if I ever have any letters from any of my illicit lovers, I can just chuck them in there or trinkets or stuff like that. And they'll be safe and secure and no one will know what's inside the bag because you can actually lock the bag. So that was an inside joke because yeah. <laughs> That's the purpose of the lock, isn't it? To make sure that you keep things away from snoopy little people so yeah it has that lock should you ever need to lock away anything from not just from your illicit lovers but just to <laughs> just to keep things secure it does have an interior pocket inside for your documents and such or maybe you don't want to have a wallet you can just put your debit card and your ID, your access cards, and everything else that you want to keep nice and secure. And what else? Oh yeah, the strap is detachable as well. So meaning, like I said, you can carry it as a crossbody or you can carry it as a, on your shoulders. And also you can just use the Toron handles. It fits perfectly on my arm because I do have a teeny tiny wrist, a tiny arm as well. So thank God it does actually go all the way, which is nice. So this is also something to consider when buying a bag. Obviously do make sure that these features, fixtures of the bag are going to save you well and actually make you thoroughly enjoy the bag to the maximum. And it also has, uh, oh, these are the keys, by the way. The keys I write in here. If you, want. you can also get it stamped if you want. Mine is got, it has my first name and my second name. And what else? So yeah, in terms of um, how it has held up over the years, I would say there is minimum to no damage whatsoever on the bag. The gold is still nice and shiny, which is fantastic. And even the fit, they're still perfect. Also, like I said, I don't put my handbags on the floor. And this Demir a band print is really robust. It's going to go the distance. You don't need to baby the bag, if you will. You don't need to worry too much about scratching it. It's quite steady. And it is the sort of bag that is not going to raise a blush, maybe surrounded by, let's say, any new and upcoming bag because there's so many exciting designs that are coming out and if you love trends obviously but if you just want to go the classic route this will not raise a blush it's not cringe inducing in by any means whatsoever because it's just a classy elegant timeless little bag and it does fit a lot of stuff but if you want to, let's say, transfer the stuff in the Lofever bag into this, you're going to have to downsize quite a bit. And, um, and also it gets thinner on the top, which is a con. So 
yeah make sure that it's not going to be overly stuffed at the top because it's going to be protruding on the outside and it's not pretty when you overstuff it but other than that it's a bag you can wear with your jeans with your dresses for daytime for nighttime it is absolutely delightful for any any occasion whatsoever i still thoroughly enjoy it because it is true to my style personality and um it is proper quality like it will go the distance back to what i was saying about the taurus that she's not just she's not materialistic she just wants things that endure and this is one of those bags that has stood the test of time and like i said it's not going to raise any blush in any company you find yourself in it will be perfect for traveling with because your id and your passports and stuff can fit in the bag then you can have your tote as well if you want and uh, it frees up the hands if you've got children you can do the crossbody or for a night town on the town with john you can just remove the strap if you want and carry it yes using the the top handles so yeah these are my thoughts on the alma bb is it worth the money absolutely should you consider this as a first time handbag most certainly but with all things considered lifestyle style personality always always keep those things in mind before you part with your money but four years later i still relish the bag and it's my constant constant compadre whatever season i find myself in even brown in summer with a brown strappy sandal that is also absolutely divine for a night out on the town it is perfect for meetings it works it's one of those bags that i highly highly recommend but then like i said always consider your style personality so yeah that's all we have time for today do make sure that you like make sure that you subscribe let's do get to 500 please 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 and do make sure that you subscribe stay tuned because i shall be coming up with more exciting hopefully inshallah content so that being said take care of one another love one another and be kind to one another if nothing else i shall be seeing you in my next video bye